Sadhguruji Sharanam. Hi dears, how is it going? Here I am with 10 best English poems for school children. I'll give the names of the poem and also the theme. And I'll also suggest which poem is suitable for which class. Okay, and yes, there are some tips and techniques with which you can ease an English poem recitation. I've given a detailed explanation of all those tips and techniques in my previous video. So please go and watch it. Even though you don't win a prize, don't worry. By hearting English poems and reciting it has a lot of benefits. It improves your memorization skills. It improves your English language skills. It helps you to speak English fluently. It also helps you in developing your mathematics skill. And it keeps your brain young and active. Thereby, it helps you to prevent Alzheimer's. It's a great hobby. All adults can start this hobby. Just learn English poems and recite it. So welcome to English Guru's brand new episode. I am Asha Lata Srijit. So the first poem in the list is The Daffodils. The very famous and sweet and cute poem by William Wordsworth. He was traveling in a lonely field beside a lake. Suddenly he noticed a group of daffodils swaying in the breeze lined up beside the lake. These daffodils were so numerous in number that he compared them with the stars in the sky. This is a very beautiful poem and I suggest students of standard 5, 6 and 7 to recite it. The next poem is the rhyme of the ancient mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. It deals with the idea of sin and its penalty. The poem starts with an old mariner stopping a man and tells him his story. How he faced numerous challenges at the ocean after having killed an albatross, the bird which is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. This is a very long poem, so you can select a section from the poem that suits your time limit. Okay, high school students and higher secondary students can recite this poem. The next one is uh, Bianca. It's a poem by the English poet Felicia Dorothea Hemans. It's about the true story of a boy who was obedient enough to wait for his father's orders, not knowing that his father is no longer alive. He refuses to leave his father's ship, despite the fact that it's being consumed by flames and is soon to sink. This is a very moving poem about a young boy's loyalty to his captain and father. Students of Standard 5, 6 and 7, please recite this poem. I am only giving you a suggestion. You can select according to your choice. The next poem is La Belle Dame Sans Mercy. La Belle means the beautiful lady. Sans Mercy without kindness. This is a ballad that tells the story of how a knight encounters a beautiful fairy woman who abandons him and leaves him distraught and void of love and life. This poem deals with the supernatural elements, illusion, reality, death and love. High school students and higher secondary students can recite this poem. The next poem is The Raven. Raven means crow. This poem is written by Edgar Allan Poe and is often noted for its musicality, stylized language and supernatural atmosphere. There is a lover in this poem. He is lamenting the loss of his love, Lenore. He is paid a mysterious visit by a talking raven. The raven simply repeats the words, never more. When he asks whether he would meet his beloved after death, the raven replies, never more. The lover becomes enraged and he asks the raven to leave at once, calling it devil. This is a good poem for high school students, higher secondary students and even college students. The next poem in the list is The Charge of the Light Brigade. This is a narrative poem by Alfred Law Tennyson. It commemorates the heroism of a brigade of British soldiers in the Crimean War. The 600 soldiers were assaulted by the shots of cannons from all sides. Still they rode courageously forward toward their own death. Into the jaws of death, into the mouth of hell, 
rode the 600. Students of standard 5, 6, 7 and 8 can recite this poem. The next poem is A Narrow Fellow in the Grass by Emily Dickinson. This poem uses the image of an encounter with a snake to explore the nature of fear and anxiety. The snake is seen from a child's eye view. So this is a short poem and students from standard 5 up to 7 can recite this poem. The next poem is Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. It narrates a simple tale of good versus evil. A son embarks on a quest to kill a fearsome beast, the Jabberwock. The boy is warned to beware the creature called Jabberwock, but he ignores the warning. He goes looking for the beast and returns victorious. Students of Standard 5, 6 and 7 can recite this poem, Jabberwock. And the next poem is Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. It's a poem by Dylan Thomas and it's best for high school students. It's a poem about death. The speaker offers advice to his or her father about how to face death with dignity, bravery and defiance. It contains a universal message. The poem encourages the dying, the sick and the elderly to fight bravely against death. Wonderful theme, isn't it? The next poem is Macavity. The Mystery Cat, written by T.S. Eliot. High school students can recite this poem. It talks about Macavity, a ginger cat, who also goes by the name Hidden Paw. It's not your regular cat, as he is a criminal in the form of a cat. He commits crimes, lacks moral values. He vanishes when his crime is discovered. The tone is humorous and mysterious. Now, here are some poems for students from Standard 3 to Five. First poem is Little by Little. The next one is Puppy and I. The Balloon Man poem. How Creatures Move. Homework Stew. Ice Cream Man. So see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Sadhguru Sharanam.